Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advance learning sa inyong mga topics from first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, feel free to visit our playlist. Kompleto lahat yon. Okay? Let's get started! Good day, mga minamahal kong grade 8 students. Sa video na ito ay itutuloy natin ang inyong learning task number 3, part 2 ng discussion. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung numbers 1 to 3, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Alright? So, ang gagawin nga natin dito ay i-graph natin yung linear inequality in two variables. Meron tayong given na 3x minus 4y plus 5 is greater than 0. Ano ulit yung una natin gagawin? I-transform muna natin sa linear equation. So, magiging 3x minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0. Ang next na gagawin, kunin natin yung x and the y intercept. Unahin muna natin yung y intercept. So, para makuha yung y intercept, let x equals 0. By substitution, that is 3 times 0 minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0. So, 3 times 0 equals 0. And then, ang matitira is negative 4y. I-transpose na natin si positive 5 sa kabila, magiging negative 5. Mag-change ng sign. Anong gagawin natin para makuha yung y? Tama. I-divide natin both sides by negative 4. Para makancel ito, then y na lang ang matitira. Negative 5 divided by negative 4 is equal to positive 5 over 4. So, ito yung y-intercept natin. Pero para mas madali nating ma-graph sa Cartesian plane, kunin natin yung kanyang decimal form. So, i-divide muna natin yung 5 sa 4. So, 5 divided by 4 equals 1. 1 times 4 equals 4. Then, 5 minus 4 equals 1. 1 divided by 4 cannot be, so magdagdag tayo ng 0, magdagdag din ng decimal point. Bring down 0, Ten divided by 4 equals 2, then 2 times 4 equals 8. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2, magdagdag ulit ng 0. Then 20 divided by 4 equals 5, then 5 times 4 equals 20. So ang remainder na niya is 0, meaning ang y-intercept natin ay pwedeng... 0, then positive 1.25. Ito yung first point natin. Okay? Ang next na gagawin, kunin natin yung x-intercept. So, let y is equal to 0 naman. So, magiging 3x minus 4 times 0 plus 5 is equal to 0. So, magiging 0 na to. Ang matitira na lang is 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. Transpose natin si positive 5 sa kabila magiging negative 5. Para makuha yung x, i-divide natin both sides by 3. Makakancel ito. Then, x is equal to negative 5 over 3. So, ito yung x-intercept natin. Kagaya lang din dito sa y-intercept, kunin natin yung decimal form nito. 5 divided by 3. That is equal to 2. 2 times 3, uh, 1. 1 times 3 equals 3. 5 minus 3 equals 2. Then, magdagdag ng 0. 20 divided by 3 is equal to 6. 6 times 3 equals 18. 20 minus 18 is equal to 2. Then, magdagdag ng 0. 20 divided by 3 is equal to 6. So, ang magiging sagot niyan is 1.66666. Pero para mas madali, i-round off na lang natin to to nearest tenth. So, magiging 1.7 na lang. Okay? So, ang x-intercept natin is negative 1.7 kasi negative to. Oh. Then, 0. So, ito yung second point natin. Ngayon, meron na tayong two points. Pwede na natin yan i-graph sa Cartesian plane. 
So, kailangan meron kayong graphing paper or pwede naman kayong gumawa ng Cartesian plane. Then, iplot lang natin yung mga points sa Cartesian plane. So, ang y-intercept natin is 0. Positive 1.25. So, nasaan ang positive 1.25? Nasa kulang kalahati ng 1. So, nandito yun. Galingan nyo na lang mag-plot ng points. And then, yung x-intercept naman natin is negative 1.7. So, nasaan yun? Sa lagpas kalahati ng negative 1 tsaka 2. Okay. So, yan. Tapos, di ba kapag ang given ay greater than at less than, ang gagamitin natin ay broken line. At kapag naman greater than or equal to at less than or equal to, ang gagamitin is solid line. E, ang given dito sa number 4 is greater than, kaya broken line ang gagamitin natin. So, i-connect na natin using broken line. So, ganyan. Putol-putol na line. Tapos, ang next na gagawin ninyo ay kukuha kayo ng test point sa taas at sa baba para malaman ninyo kung saan kayo mag-shade. Okay? Kahit alin dito ha sa taas niya at kahit alin dito sa baba niya. So, ang pipiliin ko dito sa taas muna, that is negative 3 at positive 2. Negative 3, positive 2, ito yung test point natin. I-substitute natin dito sa inequality. So, that is 3 times ang x is negative 3 minus 4 times ang y natin is 2 plus 5 greater than 0. Simplify, 3 times negative 3 equals negative 9. Negative 4 times 2 equals negative 8 plus 5 greater than 0. Simplify, negative 9 minus 8 is equal to negative 17. So, change lang kayo dyan. Plus 5 greater than 0. Negative 17 plus 5, magkaiba ng sign. So, isubtract ninyo. Magiging 12. Then, copy the sign of the greater number. Mas malaki si, 7, mas malaki si 17. Ang sign niya is negative kaya negative. Greater than 0. Is negative 12 greater than 0? Hindi, di ba? So, hindi pwede yung nasa taas. Mag-test tayo dito sa nasa baba niya. Kunin natin yung positive 3, 0. So, itest natin si positive 3, 0. By substitution, that is 3 times ang x natin is 3 pla, uh, minus 4 times ang y natin is 0 plus 5 is less is greater than 0 simplify so 0 na ito diba 3 times 3 equals 9 plus 5 greater than 0 9 plus 5 equals 14 greater than 0 is 14 greater than 0 tama this is true Ibig sabihin, ang shishidan natin ay yung nasa baba ng broken line. Okay? Ibig sabihin yan, lahat ng nandito sa baba ng line ay solution set ng inequality. Okay? Ganon yung number 4. Now, let's proceed sa number 5. Disclaimer lang mga anak, pinalitan ko yung given upang sa ganon ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa module ninyo. Okay? Ang una natin gagawin, i-transform muna natin siya sa equation. So, magiging 2x minus y is equal to 5. Then, get the x and the y intercept. Kunin muna natin yung y intercept. So, let x is equal to 0. So, that is 2 times 0 minus y equals 5. So, wala na yan. 0 na yan. Ang matitira is negative y equals 5. Yan na ba yung final answer ng y? Hindi pa, di ba? Kailangan natin gawing positive yung y. So, para matanggal si negative, i-divide natin both sides by negative 1. Makakancel ito, then y equals 5 divided by negative 1 equals negative 5. Okay? So, ang y-intercept natin is 0, negative 5. Now, let's solve for x-intercept. So, let y equals 0 naman. That is 2x minus 0 equals 5. So, ang matitira na lang is 2x equals 5. Para makuha natin yung value ng x, divide by 2 both sides. Then, makakansel ito. x is equal to 5 over 2. 
So, ang x-intercept natin is 5 over 2. Pero, paano ba natin yan ipalplot sa Cartesian plane? Convert natin siya sa decimal form. So, 5 divided by 2, that is equal to 2. Then, 2 times 2 equals 4. 5 minus 4 equals 1. Then, magdagdag ng 0. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Then, 5 times 2 equals 10. So, ang decimal form ng 5 over 2 is 2.5. So, 2.50 ang ating x-intercept. Okay? So, pwede na natin niyang i-graph sa Cartesian plane. Kunin ang inyong mga graphing paper. Ang y-intercept natin is 0, negative 5. So, 0, negative 5, nandito yon. And then, we have 2.50. Nandito sa pagitan ni t, 2 tsaka 3. So, nandito yung isang point. Ang given ay less than, ibig sabihin, broken lines. Broken lines din yung number 5. So, maglagay tayo ng broken lines. Line, broken line. Kuha tayo ng test point sa taas at saka baba ng line. Unahin natin yung nasa taas niya. Ang kukunin ko dito is positive 1, positive 1. So, itry natin si positive 1, positive 1. Isasubstitute natin dito. So, that is 2 times 1 minus 1 equals 5. Ah, less than pala. Less than 5. Then, 2 times 1 equals 2 minus 1 less than 5. 2 minus 1 equals 1 less than 5. Is 1 less than 5? Yes, it is. So, this is true. Ibig sabihin, ang shaded portion is yung nasa taas. Pero, itry pa rin natin yung nasa baba. Kung nasatisfy niya ba yung inequality. Itry natin si positive 5, 0. 5, 0. So, by substitution, that is 2 times 5 minus 0 less than 5. 2 times 5 equals 10 less than 5. So, 10 less than 5 is false, di ba? Kasi mas malaki si 10. Ibig sabihin, ang shade natin ay yung nasa taas ng line. Itong nasa taas niya. Okay? So, ganun lang mga anak. Abangan ninyo yung susunod na learning task sa susunod na video. Kung gusto ninyong panoorin, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Alright? Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!